you are provided with solution A 0 0.5 mora sodium hydroxide solution solution B 0 0.5 mora hydrochloric acid solid C 2.2 grams of X2 carbonate methyl orange indicator you are required to determine the relative atomic mass of X in the in this compound procedure fill the purette with solution A sodium hydroxide solution measure 100 centimeters cube of solution B and put it in 250 centimeters cube uh, cube beaker provided Pour solid C slowly into a beaker containing solution B while stirring for four, for about four minutes. Label this solution D. Pipette 25 centimeters cube of solution D into a conical flask and add two to three drops of methyl orange indicator. Titrate solution D with solution A until the end point is reached. Record your results in the table below. All right. <clears throat> Let us use this value. Let us use 8.5. We want to fill our table with 8.5. 8.5. Our initial is 0.0. 0.0. 0.0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. Uh, when we subtract this one, we find it is 8.5, 8.5, So our average, it is 8.5 plus 8.5 plus 8.5 divided by 3, which would give us 8.5 centimeters cube <clears throat> and now before we continue the, the, the it is important for you to know this first uh, what is happening in this procedure we are taking 100 centimeters cube of solution B but remember solution B is what hydrochloric acid 100 centimeters cube of solution B that is the acid HCl or reacted with C solid C so after reacting with solid C some some moles were used actually therefore solution D is HCl that's something which you must also I want to understand solution D is HCl yes but which HCl the excess the one that remained after reacting with solid C. So, you know, it means that this, uh, uh, solid, uh, solution B was in excess, that is, HCl was in excess. Some of the HCl reacted with solid C, and some acid remained, which is now going to react with solution A, sodium hydroxide. It is important for you to understand that. So, let us go uh, to question B. Determine the number of moles of solution A, sodium hydroxide, that reacted. Now, the volume of solution A used is 8.5 centimeters cube. But a good thing is that we know the morality of sodium hydroxide. Uh, solution A is 0 0.25 mora, meaning that 0 0.25 is the number of moles in one liter in a thousand centimeters cube. What will be the number of moles in 8.5? So we ask that the uh, 0 0.25 is the number of moles which are contained in one liter. 0 0.25 is the number of moles contained in a thousand. We remember 0 0.25 capital M implies this, implies that is 0 0.5, 0 0.25 is the number of moles in a thousand. Now we will ask 8.5 centimeters cube will contain 
how many moles <coughs> so it is 8.5 times 0 0.25 divided by 1000 this one is going to give us a 0 0.00 0.0125 moles. That is the number of moles in solution A used. The one that they reacted with D. Yes. Calculate the number of moles of hydrochloric acid in 25 centimeters cube solution D. Correct. We want to calculate the number of moles in 25. Remember D which is HCl reacted with A sodium hydroxide meaning you know, because HCl and sodium hydroxide is the, the ratio, mole ratio is 1 to 1 therefore moles therefore moles uh, of 25 centimeters cube D equal to these moles 0 0.0021 moles. The reason the ratio is 1 to 1. Calculate the number of hydrochloric acid in 100 centimeters cube of solution D. Calculate the number of moles of hydrochloric acid in 100 centimeters cube of solution D. Uh, now we have the number of moles of solution D in 25. We got that one. This is what we got in our previous Roman one. So we ask 25 centimeters cube uh, solution D contains 0 0.002125 moles. 100 centimeters cube solution d will contain how many moles so it is 100 times 0 0.002125 divided by 25 this one is going to give us a zero uh, zero point zero zero eight Five moles. Zero point zero eight five moles. Calculate the number of hydrochloric acid. Remember, we are using this question. Don't think that I'm forging the question, but it's our question is here. The question is from here. Calculate the number of moles in Roman one, and we now we are in Roman three in 100 centimeters cube solution b but we know the concentration of solution b we were given that so to do it easy we know b is 0 0.5 mora meaning that the 0 0.5 is the number of moles in a thousand centimeters cube of hydrochloric acid now we will ask 100 centimeters cube will give us how many moles and 0 0.5 moles of solution B is contained in a thousand centimeters cube so we will ask 100 centimeters cube will contain how many moles because this is uh, the original HCl so it is a hundred times 0 0.5 divided by a thousand and this one is going to give us a 0 0.05 0 0.05 5 moles 0 0.05 moles. Ah, the next question calculate the number of moles of hydrochloric acid that reacted with X carbonate, X2 carbonate solid C. Now we want the number of moles that reacted with C. This is important now. We have the number of moles of 100 centimeters cube solution B which reacted with C. And then we have prepared a hundred centimeters cube. We have we have the number of moles in a hundred centimeters cube solution D. Now we subtract the number of moles of 
this D in a hundred from a hundred B and then we get the number of moles that reacted with solid C therefore minus moles moles in a hundred minus moles in 100 centimeters cube solution D will give us the number of moles that reacted with the carbonate so moles of HCl that reacted with C equal to moles in B which is 0 0.05 minus moles in D 100 which is 0 0.0085 and that one will give us 0 0.04 five moles now we have the number of moles of HCl this is the number of HCl that reacted with C uh, with the carbonate but now we can get the number of number of moles of the carbonate from the relationship between the carbonate and HCl now we can write X2 carbonate react with HCl solution uh, B in this to give us X chloride Not the uh, X it means it, it has a variance of one therefore you cannot put anything here so uh, plus water Plus CO2 But this X is twice here. So we put two here and then the chloride here is twice then we put it to here So it means that the ratio between the carbonate and HCl is one two two but we have the number of moles of hcl that reacted with the carbonate we have the number of moles of hcl that reacted with c the number of moles is zero of hcl is zero point zero uh, four one five moles so we will ask one the carbonate will contain how many more how many moles therefore you can see because this one is one to two the number of, of the the number of moles of the carbonate is going to be a half that of the acid so moles of x2 carbonate equal to a half times 0 0.0415 which is equal to 0 0.02 0.02075 moles I have of the, the that one so the next question is calculate the relative formula mass of the carbonate RFM we want to calculate the RFM so RFM we know we can use this triangle we know that moles RFM mass now we have the mass of the carbonate remember we were given the mass of the carbonate the mass of the carbonate is solid c is 2.2 grams and we have the moles of the carbonate is this so therefore we can get rfm so rfm equal to um, rfm is equal to mass divided by moles mass is 2.2 divided by moles which is 0 0.02075 and this one will give you use your calculator to give you 106 106 so the rfm of this carbonate is 106 calculate the determine or calculate the relative atomic mass of x in the solid c uh, but we know now since we have the RFM of the of the carbonate it means that x2 carbonate equal to 106 so x there are the two of them so we say 2x plus carbon which is 12 plus oxygen that is 16 times 3 will give us 106 <coughs> uh, 2x 
plus 60 because this is 48 plus 12 equal to 106 you like terms together take this one there 2x is equal to 106 if minus 60 so 2x is going to give us um, 46 so we want the value of x divided by 2 divided by 2 so x is equal to 20 23 so the relative atomic mass of x is 23